this is one of the greatest contribution of dr samuel hanneman uh, mainly for the neurological conditions neurological conditions like parkinson's disease or conditions like neuromuscular deficit or degenerative neurological disorders so any such uh, clinical conditions you may think of this remedy these are the persons who have got constant tremors or involuntary movements or chorea or twitching or jerking of the extremities so this is not agaricus or this is not calibromatum or this is not uh, causticum or this is not heliborus the person is so weak both at the level of mentally and both at the level of physical they are so weak to talk they have so weak to have a uh, sweating they have a so weak to, uh, females are so weak to have menses they are the people who are so weak to have develop eruptions so this is not uh, lachesis or this is not arsenical or this is not any of acid group of remedies like uh, our uh, muriatic acid or uh, phosphoric acid not the acid group of remedies the child repeats everything asked if at all you ask what's your name the child will say what's your name and child will start thinking and very slow to comprehend this is not baraita cup the person will have profuse sweating especially of the extremities and which is highly offensive the sweating whenever the sweating has been suppressed so whenever the natural uh, discharges are suppressed finally ends in neurological conditions element from suppressed sweats suppressed food sweat this is not baraita cup this is not uh, silesia uh, this is not sulfur the person will have severe burning along the course of the spine burning in the occiput burning in the everywhere this is not phosphorus this is not picric acid this is also important remedy for eye complaints i have found excellent result in pterygium so you have got some uh, uh, excessive vascularization of the uh, margins of the eyes so this is an, a very important remedy and this is also important remedy for the people who can urinate only by bending backwards they cannot urinate by normal way so this is a remedy belongs to the element group and this is the remedy which is originally found in india a place called rajasthan so this remedy is zincum metallicum zincum metallicum this is one of the last remedy in most of the homeopathic metre medica in addition to zingiber and zizia even though this is the last remedy in our metre medica but this is not the least remedy in our practice i have seen students when they read for the exam by the time they start from a to reaching to the word z when zincum metallicum is come they are mentally so much tired they are physically tired they are so much prostrated because they were at so many other drugs similarly zincum metallicum is indicated for the people who are mentally and physically tired mentally and physically they are so much prostrated and weak but recent days because of covid the zincum got lots of important in every person's life everywhere it is given advertisements everywhere it has been given zincum as a supplements for covid or to prevent covid infections this is mainly because zinc has the property to reduce the severity and duration of cold symptom zinc has the property to suppress the nasal inflammation and the direct inhibition on rhinoviral receptors that is the reason why zinc is been supplied as an immune booster along with other treatments zinc is a metallic element with the symbol zn having the atomic number 30 zinc is slightly brittle metal at room temperature and has a blue and silvery appearance it has been found in the periodic table of element along with mercury cadmium it is the first element in the group 12 of the periodic table it has been proved by dr samuel hanneman a pure metal is been triturated along with sugar of milk and higher proteins are prepared as per the homeopathic pharmacopoeia let us see some of the historical background and some of the commonest uses of zinc in our day to day practice 
as early as 9th century the first time zinc has been identified from a place called zawar in rajasthan the element was probably named by paracelsus a swiss born german alchemist who referred the metal as zincum or zincain in his book after the german word zincain means a tooth or tooth like or pointed or jagged that is because the metallic zinc crystals have a needle like appearance sharp pointed or jagged needle like appearance that is the reason it has been named as zincain and finally it has been named as zincum zinc is a bluish white lustrous dimagnetic metal dimagnetic means the materials which is repelled by a magnetic field zincum is an essential mineral which is very important in the prenatal and postnatal development of a child in children deficiency of zinc causes growth retardation delayed sexual maturation deficiency of zinc causes high prone to infectious diseases and also for diarrhea that is the reason many time whenever the in the pediatric practices whenever the child is having diarrhea or whenever the child is having cold very often in the modern uh, medical field they prescribe zinc tablets or zinc dry syrups just to improve the immunity at the same time consumption of excessive zinc may cause ataxia may cause lethargy zinc is been commonly used as a supplements it has been used in the preparation of brass it has been used in the preparation of electrical batteries because zinc has the property to prevent corrosion zinc is been also used in lubricant deodorants and most of the anti dandruff shampoos and even in the paint industry zinc is been used in this slide you can see all the things about the zinc as the atomic number 30 symbol is zn the commonly called it as zinc an atomic mass is 65.38 it has been discovered before 1000 bc it has been discovered by indian metallurgists it is found in the d block of periodic table of element in it is about a transition metal this is in short about the uh, zinc properties here we can see a periodic table of elements which is again a big chapter to discuss i am not going so much details about the periodic table but in short a periodic table of element is a table of elements which has been arranged based on the atomic numbers electron configurations and recurring chemical properties in short they have seven rows you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is mentioned on the left side there seven rows they have been called as the periods generally the metals will be there on the left hand side and non metals will be there on the right hand side of periodic table of elements the columns are called as a groups which contains elements with similar chemical behaviors since 2016 the periodic table has 118 confirmed elements now we'll come back to the zincum you can see in this slide here it is zincum is found along with cadmium mercury and copernicum zinc is a transition metal this is in short about the understanding about zinc in periodic table of elements
pair of action of zincum metallicum zincum has got marked action on the brain nerves spine blood and special affinity over the occiput area of the brain it also has got action on the eyes and genital organs it is dr william burt who says what iron is for the blood and zinc is for the nerves if we examine the provings and clinical records we find that zinc as the power to arouse it has a power to strengthen the nervous system by action of this drug on the brain nerves spine it causes formication it causes that ants creeping like sensations which is slowly over a period of time in a chronic poisoning leading to convulsions and stuporous conditions and finally the poison may leads to a death on the blood it causes a destruction of the rbcs and leading to anemia zinc metallicum is a drug mainly adapted to the persons who are so weak they are so much prostrated both at the level of mind and physicals they have a small build they are not heavy and hefty build but they have a small build they are very often gloomy and nervous type of individuals very often they have suffering from cerebral or nervous diseases some of the degenerative brain diseases they have defected in vitality they are so weak to talk they are so weak to get up they are so weak to produce any symptoms they are so weak to urinate they are so weak to expectorate they are so weak to understand so such type of individuals the zincum is mainly adapted it is a typical case of brain fag as we see in califosforicum let us see some of the most commonly used clinical indications and keynote symptoms of zincum metallicum the first important keynote symptom about zincum metallicum is constant violent fidgety feeling especially about the lower extremities upper extremity is fine but mostly the lower extremity is affected constant violent fidgety feeling or trembling of the lower extremities especially the feet we see in medorinum person has to move constantly to relieve like our alumina and baryta cup constant fidgety feeling we have got many drugs like calibrometum which is mostly the upper extremities here it is mainly the lower extremities we have got agaricus which is again constant movement constant trembling in agaricus the trembling is better once the person is sleeping but here there is a constant it may present even when the person is sleeping also only better by moving so that is the characteristic indication of zincum metallicum the second keynote indication of zincum is always feels better by discharge always feel better by normal discharges a female who feels always better by getting her back her menses or whenever the menses starts most of their complaints are better like our magnesium pos like upion like lachesis better by normal discharge like in addition to that most of the times they feel better by urination they feel better by sweating they feel better by expectorations so whenever the discharges are suppressed they end up getting many of the complaints as severe as neurological deficits whenever their discharges are flowing they are fine whenever the discharges are suppressed for example menses has been suppressed for example eruption has been suppressed they leading to many of the neurological complaints that is a indication of zincum metallicum 
another most important indication of zinc metallicum as i mentioned in the introduction the person is too weak the person is too prostrated to develop exanthemata like our cupra metallicum like our sulfur like our tuboenum there is a sudden cessation of eruptions uh, leading to paralysis there is a sudden cessation of eruptions leading to convulsions like in our opium for example if a child comes down with scarletina or measles or chicken pox there is only fever but there is no eruptions the eruption does not come out that leading to a tendency for paralysis tendency for convulsions there is a drawing of the extremities child will be rolling the head from side to side like our heliborus and child will be a very stuporous conditions child may go to a complete unconsciousness that is the indication of zinc metallicum whenever the eruptions are suppressed goes to a neurological phenomena another important feature about zinc metallicum is the child repeats everything said to it suppose you ask what's your name child will say what's your name child repeats all the question before answering them when an individual does this it is to make the mind to comprehend he repeats mainly because he wants to understand your question so he'll repeat the question then he will answer slowly he must first realize what it means and then he will answer slowly he may look blank for a moment then slowly he will answer there is a reason of zincum metallicum the where the child repeats everything said to it it is not like beretta cab beretta cab is mentally a dull but here child takes some time to understand your question that is the reason why zincum metallicum child repeats the question which has been asked as we all know zincum is a remedy mainly for the nerves as william burt mentioned what iron is for the blood and zincum for the nerves especially indicated for the convulsions in children during dentitions for the convulsion in children for the dentition we got many drugs like heliborus belladonna hyoscyamus stromonium so there are remedies are many but characteristic of zinc metallicum is during convulsions there is a face is very pale there is a no heat at all except in the occiput there is a no rise of temperature that means it is a reverse of belladonna in belladonna most of the time it is a febrile convulsions there is a sudden rush of blood to the head and head is very hot with high temperature that is a belladonna here child is getting convulsions but there is no heat at all the head is very cold very pale opposite of belladonna except occiput which may be hot and there is no fever child is rolling the eyes from side to side child will be biting the teeth so that's how we can differentiate whether the child require belladonna whether the child require nuxomica or hyoscyamus or stromonium or cicuta there is no distorted face here whole head is cold except the occiput which is bit warmth there is no temperature at all that is the indication of zinc metallicum in convulsions during dentition another important symptom about zinc metallicum is involuntary movements automatic movement of the hands or the head or the one hand and the head it is like looks very odd typically you can see in parkinson disease head is moving and extremities are moving there is a twitching and jerking of the single muscles like our ignatia like our agaricus like our crocus for the automatic movement of the hand and head we need to compare other drugs like apocyanum bryonia and heliborus you can see in this uh, image where the person is having trembling involuntary movements that is a indication of zinc metallicum especially about the uh, lower extremities or hand and the head zinc metallicum is full of neurological symptoms it is also a important remedy for the people who are having chorea especially chorea develops 
after suppressed eruptions or chorea develops in children after a fright like our aconite like our opium zinc metallicum people are having constant hunger especially their hunger between 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock ravenous hunger at 11 or 12 am like our sulfur it is not just hunger like sulfur but there so much greedy in eating there is a great greediness while eating they are cannot eat fast enough they are constant eating and constant greedy in eating it is mainly seen in children who are suffering with brain diseases it is also indicated for the people who cannot tolerate wine at all they are hungry they are greedy in eating but they cannot tolerate wine even a small quantity of wine will aggravate like our alumina conium naxomica zinc metallicum is also indicated for the people who are constantly moving their feet even in the bed even after getting into the deep sleep they'll get up from the sleep and walk there's a no rest for the feet at all that is called somnambulism we have got many drugs for sleep walking like our caliphos like stramonium hyoscyamus anacardium and silicia we need to differentiate these drugs based on the other constitutional features we can differentiate silicia based on the silicia personality we can differentiate anacardium based on the mental symptoms so similarly zinc metallicum along with other nervous phenomena person is restless person is having trembling person is having chorea and person will get up from the sleep and walk that is the characteristic about zinc metallicum zinc metallicum personalities they sweat a lot they have profuse sweating especially on the extremities they have sweaty feet it is not only just sweating but is highly offensive cannot tolerate the smell of their foot sweat it is like silicia it is like sandicula it is like barita carp there is a profuse sweaty feet especially between the toes whenever the foot sweat has been suppressed like our cuprometallicum like our silicia like our barita carp they start getting some or the other neurological complaints like tremors like convulsions like chorea it is also indicated for the people who have chill blains which are highly painful and is aggravated by rubbing zinc metallicum is also a very important remedy for the spinal affections they have a burning along the course of spine burning from occiput to the lower end of the spine like our picric acid like our phosphorus we need to compare other drugs also chinnam self they have aching pain at the base of the brain to the coccyx like our lacaninum coming to the spine and it's also very important remedy for the people who have constant back ache especially back ache which is aggravated by sitting and back ache is amelioration by walking which is very similar to cobalt pulsatilla and rustox cannot bear back to be touched like our chinnam self therentula thyridion so there is a constant back ache which is aggravation from sitting and better by walking and cannot bear back to be touched like our thyridion like our therentula like our chinnam self one more very strange and peculiar symptoms of zinc metallicum is regarding the urinary complaints where person can pass urine only by bending backward can void urine while sitting bent backwards he cannot pass urine by normal way it is also indicated to the people who have hysterical retention of urine it is also indicated for the people who have involuntary urinations while walking coughing and sneezing like our natrum self like our pulsatilla like our bryonia like our 
காஸ்டிகம் லைக் அவர் ஜெல்சீமியம் ஜிங்கம் இஸ் எ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் ஃபீமேல் ரெமெடி ஸ்பெஷலி வி ஆல் நோ தேட் ஜிங்கம் இஸ் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த கம்ப்ளைண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் எம்லரேட்டட் பை மென்சஸ் அண்ட் மென்சஸ் இஸ் ஸோ ப்ரொஃப்யூஸ் ஸ்பெஷலி அட் நைட் லைக் அவர் போவிஸ்டர் லைக் அவர் அமோனியம் கார்ப் அமோனியம் யூர் கோக்கஸ் கேக்டை அண்ட் மெக்னீஷியம் கார்ப் அண்ட் அகெயின் மென்சஸ் ஸ்பெஷலி கம்ஸ் வைல் சிட்டிங் like again ammonium carb and most of the complaints are relieved by menses whenever the menses is suppressed end up in getting neurological complaints it is also indicated to the people who have itching at genitalia both in males and females itching is so severe which induces masturbation itching induces onanisms like our caladium they have excessive sexual irritation driving to the masturbation they are generally a nymphomaniacal like our ustilago murex lilium tigrinum last symptoms regarding the eye complaints i found tremendous result in the management of pterygium that is excessive vascularization of the white portion of the eyes which leading to a kind of smarting sensation which leading to a lacrimation which leading to itching and finally if not treated it may go to a blindness we have other two drugs for pterygium that is argentum nitricum and calcarea carb and zincum is a excellent remedy we can give in a 200 potency or 1m potency depends on the sensitivity of a individual we'll see some of the etiological factor of zincum metallicum they are generally element from suppressed eruptions or suppressed menses or suppressed discharges element from anger element from grief element from fright element from night watching like our coculus noxomica element from operations like our staphysagria element from frostbite like our agaricus element from wine like our noxomica they are generally aggravated at menstrual period aggravation from touch aggravation between 5 to 7 pm aggravation after dinner and also aggravation from wine and aggravation in generally they are aggravated by cold they are amelioration while eating amelioration by discharges and amelioration by appearance of eruptions regarding the thermal state zinc metallicum is predominantly most towards the chilly side chilly patient regarding the miasmatic background it covers all the miasms it has got a soric feature it has got a psychotic feature and also it has got syphilitic miasmatic background so far we have studied general introduction about zincum metallicum and various keynote indications of zincum metallicum let us try to understand the basic disposition or basic nature of zincum metallicum zincum metallicum persons are basically an hyper over stimulated and over sensitive persons after a period of excitability of the brain and tremendous restlessness which you can see in zincum personalities zincum as a very specific mental picture they have the idea that they have to be very intellectuals that they have to achieve a lot in their academics they have a aim that i should score high marks i should be the number 1 typical zincum that they dream of taking an exam that they passed a long time ago but the situation often originates when there is a problem in their achievements especially because of parents pressure or teachers pressure they are unable to cope up here the emphasis will have been a intellectual achievement having to score high marks at school there's a lot of pressure uh, mentally for zinc metallicum child or zinc metallicum individuals the pressure of having to achieve often leads to a feeling of guilt the person is unable to score the mark what like how parents are expected 
he is unable to score the mark like how teachers have expected from him and finally he leads to a failure in the exam it might take them to feel that they have done some crime in their life they feel that they have committed a mistake in their life hence they get a lots of delusions and dreams that they have been punished by the police they have been punished by the teachers they have been punished by the parents because they have got lots of pressure especially academics but they are mentally unable to fulfill so zincom patient has got a tremendous constant anxiety as if they are getting anxiety as if they have been arrested they are getting anxiety as if they have been punished very often the mental emotions are repressed and they have been suppressed and finally expressed in the form of somnambulism very often their feelings are suppressed then they start walking in the sleep there is a very often emotions are suppressed and they start getting trembling they start getting chorea they start getting fidgety of the extremities they start getting weakness it's all because of mental pressure zincom patient can go to the other extremes with tremendous mental dullness with brain fag they cannot even understand your question when the question is asked you will repeat your questions especially you can see in children the mind is so slow to understand so first he will repeat your question and he will think then he will answer when an individual does this so that means he is mentally very dull he was otherwise hyper he had a aims but over a period of time he is unable to cope up so and he feel guilty that he's been done some crime and he feel that he's been punished that is how the progression of zinca metallicum mind this is not that type of beretta cab who are basically a idiotic or basically a very dull child he is not so zinca metallicum they had a aim he had a achievement he had a goal but he is unable to fulfill so because of that finally ends up in neurological phenomena mentally they will go to a so extreme state of depression they also have a suicidal thoughts with a depression they thinks about death calmly but they doesn't have that desires they doesn't have that dareness to commit suicide but the thoughts are always persisting in zinca metallicum they always complains about others they are totally unsatisfied they are totally depressed that is how zincom personality here the remedy relationship of zincom metallicum the complementary remedy is calcarea fos the remedy followed well by is ignatia sepia and sulfur the remedies that follows well is epis and belladonna inimical remedy is naxomica which is very similar to zinca metallicum in most of the neurological manifestation and other drug is chamomilla we need to compare other drugs like cuprometallicum you need to compare uh, pulsatilla you need to compare uh, plumba metallicum the remedy that antidotes is camphor ignatia and hepasulf it antidotes beretta cup in this slide we have summary of zincum metallicum in the center of the slide we have the sphere of action that zincum has got marked action on the brain nerves spine blood occiput orbit on the left hand side we have the adaptability that zincum is mainly adapted to the persons who have cerebral and nervous complaints the people who are so much exhausted they have defective vitality brain and nerve power wanting the person is too weak to develop exanthemata all that thing we have studied in the right hand side we have the some of the keynote indications that is a violent fidgety feeling involuntary movements especially of the feet and the lower limb then we have another symptoms that all the complaints are better by discharge maybe it is a menses or sweat or expectorations or eruptions or urination everything gives amelioration then we have another symptom too weak to develop exanthemata or too weak to develop eruptions 
on the other part when the eruptions are not developed that leading to convulsions and paralysis convulsions also during the time of dentition with the pale face cold extremities even the uh, head is cold except the occiput that is also characteristics then we have another symptoms that automatic movements of the head and feet we have another symptom down that is a chorea especially after a fright then we have another symptoms that burning along the course of the spine like our phosphorus like our picric acid then we have in the center again the most core is the child which repeats or in general the person who repeats the questions he looks to be very dull and slow they have generally excessive sweat the foot sweat is highly offensive whenever the foot sweat has been suppressed that leading to neurological complaints we have one more uh, very strange and uncommon peculiar symptom is the urination is only by bending backwards we have another symptoms that's a itching of genitalia which is leading to onanism and coming to the left hand side we have another symptom most uh, the mind of the zinc metallicum the basically a person who's who dull who is slow and whenever the things are not happening and he feels guilty that he's been committed a crime and uh, uh, many times the person who repeats all the questions with repressed emotions and finally the person will be expressed in the form of sleep walking there is a ravenous hunger at 11 to 12 am and it's also a remedy for the i complaints called trigium so this is in nutshell about zincum metallicum